The Trump administration quietly shut down a U.S. intelligence unit focusing on domestic terrorism, despite an uptick in right-wing domestic terrorism in 2017 and 2018. According to the Daily Beast, the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, dismantled its intelligence group a year ago and never announced it. Former intelligence officials say the intelligence unit could have studied violent threats like the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting and attempted bombing of Democrats and media figures. The group produced reports about domestic terrorists and violent extremists from within the borders of the United States. It also provided local law enforcement communities with guidance on how to handle them. The Trump administration reportedly reassigned everyone in the group within the DHS's intelligence and analysis department to different positions within the DHS. Former intelligence officials told the Daily Beast that the group, were it still functioning, would have analyzed the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting that left 11 people dead, the attempted bombing of Democrats and media members by a supporter of President Donald Trump, and the shooting of Republican members of Congress. All of those threats were carried out by people living within the United States with extremist right-wing ideologies. Nate Snyder a former DHS official who oversaw department policies and studied violent extremism, said that ending the intelligence group undercuts claims by Secretary of Homeland Security Kirstjen Nielsen that the United States is taking great measures to combat extremist attacks, Trump himself has said he doesn't think white nationalism is a rising threat. You hear the secretary in this administration say how domestic terrorism is a clear priority and how resources will be bolstered, but you can't say that, and then all of a sudden, get rid of the unit that's there to detect threats and share information with our first responders, law enforcement, and federal partners," Snyder told the Daily Beast. You can't have it both ways.